Here again, we have a red wall with a touch event inside, and look what happened when I hop on it. So I only touched it one time, but you can see it recorded multiple touches to the wall. This is not ideal because you don't want to record multiple touches for a single touch. So to record only one single touch for each time a player touches a part, what we're going to do is we're going to add some scripting for debouncing. Debouncing is a process that is only going to record one single touch each time the player touches a part. So again, here is our touch event. Each time the ball is touched, it's printing the name of the part that is touching the ball. To add a debouncing to this touch event, I'm going to go here. As soon as the part is touched, it calls this function. And as soon as I go inside the function, I'm going to turn off the can't touch property of my red wall. My red wall is the part. So I'm going to say part dot can't touch equal to false. And then I'm going to print out the name of the part that is touching my red wall. And I'm going to give it maybe three seconds. So I'm going to do a test wait of three seconds. And then I'm going to turn back on the can touch property of my red wall. So I'm going to say part dot can touch equal to true. Let's play test again. Take a look. This time it should only record the first touch to the wall. And that's all. I'm going to go and hop on the wall. You can see it only recorded one single touch. We just have to wait for three seconds and then touch it again. It recorded another touch to the ball. And that is how debouncing works in Roblox.